Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers to you. And you might notice, first of all, see the cup? Princess, princess. If anybody, first of all, if anybody can, if anybody can find out who is the brand that makes this princess cup. Well, they make the one, I got another one. I got it at TJ Maxx and it says, um, uh, you go girl on the inside. There is no brand on the bottom other than it just says like the maker of this kind of, um, it, it's not a brand. I looked it up. It's basically like a certain kind of, um, ceramic wear, but it's not the brand. So I have looked this up. I think I might have found like a blogger that was selling them um, on, I don't know, some form of e-commerce that I wasn't quite familiar with and made me tilt my head too much. Like, So anyway, if anybody can find out who makes these huge ass cups, I would be so appreciative. But the other thing you might be noticing, there's a slight difference in my coffee this morning. I have adjusted my coffee, um, what's the word, ingredients um, for my, I, I almost don't want to say new diet, I guess it's slightly different than, I basically when I got back into doing this kind of training with, um, I have been making no sense, just delete the last sentence. Okay, start over. Now I can say what I mean to say. When, when we put me on Mark's training program, which I'll get to in a second, um, because it was a different kind of training, because I was cutting out, you know, that second cardio every day, um, everything was going to be changing about my training, and I wanted to be very sure, I would say that probably one of my biggest problems when it comes to my, I feel like I have to air quote everything so that I don't, you know, say the politically incorrect things here everything that comes to my diet and, and, and fitness, um, the, the number one problem for me is getting kind of wrapped up in my work and I don't eat enough. And then, you know, you guys have, have heard this. this is like, sorry, have wake up head hair. Um, I come out of my, if I'm home from not traveling, you know, I come out of my refrigerator and I, I actually texted Mike this yesterday. Sometimes I open my refrigerator and right now I have like grilled vegetables in there, which I love normally. I have some tilapia cooked um, or I'll have steaks and I just find myself bored with a lot of food. And, and I just think, which is weird. Um, and it's not, don't get me wrong, because there's two different kinds of, I don't want to eat that food, in, in my opinion. In my past, there were times I might look at something like that and go, oh. I don't want that. What I really want is a cheeseburger. It's not about, you know, wanting to go out and eat really disgusting or bad for you food. Um, I just, I don't know. It's, it's one of my, <laughs> it's one of my things lately. I find myself just, which shows you kind of how far I've come. I'm not as overly obsessed with food as I was in the past. There's something here on the other side of this camera. Hold on. I thought the plug was coming out. Um, does that make sense? Like when I used to diet so, so hardcore and everything was out of a book and it was just this program and this was only what I could eat that day. You know, if I varied from that path, I'd freak out. I don't freak out um, about, I don't freak out about food being perfect anymore. Um, I feel very comfortable eating um, what I'm eating right now for my health. I'm not on a specific diet to get on a competition stage, that's when you really have to be very, 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 very specific to the T. You know, you can't go, well, you know what, I, you know, I didn't have protein at three of my meals. What's the big deal? In, in those cases, everything is a big deal. Um, and for those of you that are bodybuilders or com competition uh, figure competitors, you know what I mean. But overall, I'm very comfortable with the stuff I eat and, and how much I, again, it, my problem tends to be that when I get wrapped up in work and sometimes I don't feel like having four meals or five meals. I don't, and I, I literally, so I'll let you know what he says, um, I literally just wrote to Mike, Dr. Mike yesterday to ask him, I'm like, there's just some days 
that, you know, I've done my workout in the morning, I've had like a good breakfast, I'll have like a great lunch, and it gets to the end of the day, and I just, I don't feel like eating fish and vegetables or steak and vegetables. I actually usually always want sushi. It's never really a problem. But <laughs> if I ordered sushi every single day, I would be ridiculously broke. I'm running a startup, people. <laughs> I don't have those kind of funds right now. But anyway, um, that tends to be my, my only real problem with food. But technically, right now, what, um, I, I don't even have my sheet written out here. What Mike has me on is um, he'd like me to shoot for four meals. Um, I have to, oh God, I have to look at the sheet again. Because I kind of know what to eat. I'm not looking at the, the, the specific calories of it. Um, but one of the things that he did change this five minute ramble, it's not a rant, this five minute ramble all started because of me telling you what's different with my coffee. Do you see how difficult it is for me to say a sentence in less than 30 seconds? Um, when he was, when I was telling him what I was eating and, and whatever, and he gave me um, my diet plan, I was asking him specifically about my coffee, and I said, you know, this is how I've made my coffee in, in the past, as you know, this is what I put in it, and my thing before, when I'd first gone paleo, you guys know this, I um, would put coconut oil in it. The first f formation of coffee was coconut oil and cinnamon. And then, I just don't like coffee. I'm not a black coffee person at all. So, I tried coconut milk. Didn't didn't work. It, you know, <laughs> I don't want to put cream in there and not have it look like this. You can't really see. But for me, like when I put coconut milk in, it was like putting colored water in there. Um, so basically I told him what I was doing with a, with a big cup of coffee and, and I said I'm putting two tablespoons of heavy cream in there with my cinnamon and my coconut oil. Coconut oil excuse me. Um, now, actually that just reminded me of something. So hold on, I'm just getting my coconut oil because my skin's so dry while we're talking. Um, seriously, skin's very dry. So. Um, he basically was saying, you know, that's a lot of fat compared to, you know, the fat I have you doing the rest of the day. Um, so I kind of went back and forth with him, and he was like, no, 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 I don't want you, because Mike's very big on, um, see how great this is for your skin, especially your elbows? Um, so Mike's very big on, you know, not creating a diet that um, is gonna you know keep you feeling every day it, the wrong way like I told you I was before where every day you get up and you're like I'm not allowed this I'm not allowed this I can only have this because it, those are the kind of things that when you get on something like that you're setting yourself up many of us some people can do it and they thrive on it but you know you could really be setting yourself up for for failure because you're just going to obsess about everything you can't have that was me several years ago um, I would you know, obsess over everything I couldn't have, and then when I would have a, a cheat meal or a cheat day, it would turn into something much bigger, and, and I wasn't even eating the food to enjoy it. I was eating it because it was not, you know, it was not allowed, and so, you know, I'd order pizza and shove as much of it in my mouth as I could, you know, and then throw it away and whatever. Now, <laughs> let's be honest, when I order pizza now, um, which I did over the weekend, um, I do, I do still, um, my mom yells at me for this, I do still throw the remains away, but it's not as much like a, oh crap, I've got to, you know, I don't, that's what I used to be in the past. I used to like, I would cheat on my diet and it, I, it was ridiculously idiotic in my brain of thinking, you know, if I throw away the evidence, it's like it didn't happen. I don't do that now with that mindset. What I do is, I mean, there's a, that's, that's one food. Mark was talking about trigger foods. If I have pizza in my house, it's just, there's never a time the pizza's not going to sound good. So I'm not going to keep half a pizza, even in my freezer, because if I open up the freezer and I'm like, oh, there's pizza in there. There's no way it's not going to get eaten. There's just, I'm not that kind of person. Some people can keep stuff like that in their house and do fine with it. My old neighbor can keep a, a jar of M&Ms on her kitchen counter and not touch it. I don't know what's wrong with her. That's just not right. But anyway, let me wrap this up because I'm at 10 minutes already.
welcome to the talk show that talks about nothing. Um, but there's something, a big couple of boxes on my counter that it, I am so excited about. <laughs> it's like, like, this is, honest to God, one of my favorite fitness products out there, period. But, and it's by Designer Way, which on a side note, th these are for my sister. She likes to, she will actually take the time and make um, protein shakes and smoothies with all the stuff in it. I don't do that because it's kind of like salads. It took me so long to actually make a salad that didn't make me taste it and go, I'm, I'm not creative in that manner. I, I don't know why I'm not good because I love to cook. Um, but I did just notice. So, so Jen and Dave will use the, um, um, the protein powder and, the, and they'll, um, we're going to have a lot of these recipes up on the Fitfluential site, fitfluential.com. Heavy plug. But I just noticed they have this white chocolate flavor. I might have to try that. Um, so designer way, you might not be used to, um, I think a lot of people, what they're not used to is that um, these are like smaller canisters. In a way, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because I'm going to show you about this. This is, um, let me just give you a preview. Protein to go. Um, now that I think about it, this would be kind of nice to have, because uh, one of the things I'll talk about here is that this is great for travel or for the office or the train or whatever. But now that this is a smaller, I mean, right, most protein powders come in those big bins. Now, if I travel or when I travel, what I would use to, what I typically do is I, I get a um, Ziploc bag, put a bunch of protein powder in it, enough for when I'm gone, and a scoop. Save your scoops, people. No matter what I have, I have a drawer over there of protein powder scoops so that when I travel, don't have to take the one out of here. I can just scoop some of this protein in into a Ziploc bag, throw a scoop in that kind of matches this size, and you're good to go. I sound like a QVC commercial. Anyway, I'm about to sound even more QVC. I seriously, I if there's other products like this, you have to let me know. In all this time of trying all these protein products, I haven't seen anything like this. Um, meaning, I'm used to protein powder like this or uh, like the GNC stuff you guys have heard me talk about, or BSN, or Kaspari, uh, Myofusion, whatever, that are a powder, you, put, you shake it in with your water or your almond milk or whatever, but they all have a, a, a similar taste and flavor, in my opinion. They're all like chocolate or peanut butter, or, but it, it has like a milky flavor. Does that make sense? These protein to goes which I'm absolutely, I'm not, I, I can't say this enough. I'm, I'm obsessed with these. I didn't quite know what they were. Um, wait a minute. Oh, it says post-workout recovery drink mix. Wait, why, I don't know why they say that because it doesn't have to be post-workout. Well, maybe if you just had one, one serving. So there are these little, anyway, I took this on a trip and I had a couple of these things in my purse. So they come in these little packets like this, right? Maybe what they're thinking is that if you had one packet after a workout, um, let me see how many carbs are in this. It's easier. Um, two grams of carbs. So if you had two of these, which is what I would do for a serving, 100 calories, 20 grams of protein, it would have four grams of carbs, no fat, or 0.5, so it would probably have one gram of fat. Um, but anyway, I, I, I wouldn't consider this like a, a post-workout, I would just consider it, this is nice protein. So you're on the go. I had this, I was stuck at LaGuardia Airport and I had several of these. I don't know if you remember me putting that up on Instagram. Um, but I put it in my water bottle. So I was right around the corner from Auntie Emmy's pretzels. And instead of having Auntie Emmy's pretzels, I had this. That was a difficult choice. <laughs> but anyway, um, 50 calories each. Each one of these is 50 calories. Uh, 10 grams of protein. The thing that's also different is they're just fizzy. They're, they're like a fizzy, juicy type of a flavor. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I describe it as more like fizzy, crystal light type of a flavor versus your standard protein powders, which tend to be more, I guess the way I describe them is more like milky. Does that make sense? Um, all that said, I'm absolutely obsessed. So you've got lemonade, you have mixed berry, and you have tropical orange. Bam, I'm in love with them, and I'm so excited. Um, I think they might have been out of stock of those for a while, but I want you to tune in because if you are a Fitfluential member and a potential upcoming ambassador, you could be part of our uh, little designer way group. Um, so tune into um, Fitfluential.
Um, we're going to have some Fit Functional Finds posts on this um, with some recipes, obviously, for this, that kind of stuff. But I got to tell you, I I just love this. I love that it's already prepackaged. I love that it's 10 grams of protein. You take two of them. I mean, whenever I travel, this is it. It's in the car. So if you have a bottle of water, throw it in there. Not a lot of planning. No scoops or anything needed. Not bad. Um, let me wrap up, because now it's 15 minutes, um, how the training's going. Um, I think I'm going to see Mark, because I'm getting ready to go to Miami for like two months, people. I'm getting ready for next year. Training is going very well. Um, I, abs I love it. I love that I have more time in my day. I love that, okay, so right now I'm in my workout pants, even though I have my Val slide top on. You see it? Um, so um, I love that I can get up in the morning um, and, you know, if, if, I, if I wanted to with the, the strength training and really with the, the cardio, the, the cool thing is before if I did, you know, the cardio, I always did an empty stomach cardio and I really had to have an empty stomach because if I was doing anything jumpy or running or anything like that, you know, I don't do well with food in my stomach. The nice thing about both of these um, workouts is that, you know, even if I had eaten my breakfast, like I could eat my breakfast now and still do my cardio, say at like 9 or 10 um, in the morning because you're not... It's not plyo, it's not running, it's all, you know, you're on the ground, you're not jumping. I don't know if you guys are like me, I can't have food in my stomach and like do a bunch of jumping around or I have cramps and side stitches. Um, so the training's going great. Um, it still is, you know, kind of a mind thing for me when I start my workouts out and it's all about um, doing all the, the stretching, taking the time to do the stretching um, because I just want to dive right into the workout. But Hello people, lack of stretching is part of what contributed to my Achilles situation. I am going to ask Mark how soon he thinks I can run again because it's killing me to not be running. Um, so I, I love it. The other thing that's interesting is I've gone up in my weights each workout and now, um, you know, there's part of me that I do like being able to just work out at home, take my shower and get back to work. Um, but I think I'm going to have to be strictly in the gym now because, um, especially for the leg stuff, I can only get my barbell so high and without not being able to lift it up over my head for squats. So I can go much heavier for squats. I can't lift it up over my head. Next video, I'm going to talk about what Mark told me about not using the Smith machine at the gym when I'm there. So save that for the next one. I will talk to you guys later. Okay? Cheers. And of course.